I'm feeling rather peachy today. I'm Susie, and today we're going to do a French fade. They're difficult to do, but I'm going to do it with a peach color. But I've got a few tips to help you out. Let's get started. So if you've watched my videos before, I always wear acrylic. But today, I've taken these down to a very thin layer so we can do this new design. So I'm just going to get me form. Maybe I'll do the thumb. So I, the reason why I take so much time with my form placement, it's really, really important to make sure that is placed properly. It really is the foundation of where your nail is going to go and how it's going to look. If you place the form up too high, it'll go me. You don't want that down too far. It goes down. We want it more straight with a tiny bit of a slope. That's good. I've got my new line I'm working with, Ugly Duckling. I'm just placing the prep on. Prep is just cleansing the nail, getting rid of the dust, pH balance, all that good stuff. And then here's the primer. I love these bottles, they're so cute. And this way you want to be a little bit more careful when you put the primer on. You don't want to oversaturate or touch the skin with this. Be very, very gentle. And primer absorbs into the nail like you would put water on a paper towel. You don't want it to seep underneath all underneath the nail, so you just want it to sit on top of the nail plate. Okay, I'm gonna put these guys away. I don't need them right now. And this is my liquid monomers. A lot of people ask you what I'm using for the liquid. It's liquid acrylic. It's a monomer in the acrylic form. Let me brush. So I'm just going to pour this in my really cute dish. I really like this. It's a little acrylic dish that Swan makes. It pours pretty good. You don't really have to use the brush trick. That should do me. So I'm just going to get my brush all conditioned. So I'm working with this magnetic product called Miss Originality. Very pretty peach. And this is a mixture actually. So this is a mixture of this originality mixed with natural or clear. I think I mixed it with natural. And I'm diluting it a little bit because when you do this fade, you're starting with the intensity of the color at the tip of the nail and then we're fading into a softer color into nothing or into the pink nail plate all in one be seamless. That's why this is hard. We're going to try to make it seamless. Easier said than done. Now, the liquid to powder ratio, some might say it's not important, but it is the most important thing when you're doing acrylic. Your liquid to powder ratio is crucial to how you put the nail on. It's crucial in its curing, crucial in its wearing, it's crucial whether it cracks or breaks or doesn't, and whether it keeps curing after a person wears it. So liquid to powder ratio is super, super important. It is the key to making great nails, honestly. I'm gonna start with the tip and I'm gonna work down to fade. Let's do the pink part first. Get rid of that powder. I don't want that powder. Now, if liquid to powder ratio was not utilized here to like making it as perfect as I can, it would be running all over and I'd be nothing but chasing it. I don't want to spend my time chasing it. I want to spend my time shaping it. It's such a pretty color. That is just simply a pink color by Ugly Duckling. Sometimes I'll mix pink colors to create my own, but right now I'm really digging this just out of the jar. Okay, so here's the scary part. I'm going to take a bead of acrylic and put it right at the tip. I'm going to make these almond. I want it to match this side. I love me almond. 
I'm not gonna get too crazy about the shape. I can always shape that up later. But what I'm gonna be focusing on is this where it blends together. The reason why this is hard is because this is a pastel color. This is easier, much easier done if you use glitter in it. If there is glitter mixed in here, it helps the slowing process of the curing so it doesn't get as hard on you as quickly and it gives you more time to play, but it's also much easier to break up and fade it when it's got the glitter pieces in it. But when it's a solid piece like that, it's really tough. That's why the French white is hard too, but when you cut the French white with a softer color, it makes it a bit easier. I always like to try to cover the natural nail area. You can see where the natural nail is there. I always like to cover it because you never want to be able to see it through the acrylic. Right, that always looks really, really bad. So I'm not even fading yet. I'm still just putting it in there. So this is the scary part. See how this pink part is matching up with the peach part? It's got a kind of a solidish line. We're trying to make that soft. This is the point where it really matters. And it's hard to do because you can see this is quite a solid color. So I'm gonna to try to smooth it out as much as possible. And then bring in my blending color. If there's any type of step in the nail is in, if it's kind of eh, 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 eh. If it's not really smooth, it can get caught up in it and create some thickness and cause an illusion of not being very well smoothed out. That can cause some hiccups for you if you run into that. That's what makes this so difficult is because this color is really meant to be more solid. It's not meant to, to blend. Okay, let's try my softening color and see if that works. on using the peach color. There are so many colors out there. I toy between a baby blue and a soft pink and the popular sort of mint green right now, but I settled on peach. It's really, really pretty. decided what your design and color and fade is going to be, you can leave it. All these products can be filed directly. But if you've taken a lot of time to create that fade, that nice soft blend, by filing it, you could take off the layer that was crucial to make that soft blend. So what I do is I cap it, the whole thing, with a clear cap of acrylic to make sure that I don't remove any of that color because I've done that. I've done that where I've found the exact design that I like and then I filed just a little too much off, you know, trying to make it thin and not a thick nail and ended up filing off my design, which is really frustrating. So this is obviously a bit thick, but I'm trying to do it so you can see it. Then when I file this, I will leave that thin layer of clear on top of the whole design. That worked out good. I love 
like that. That's beautiful. Once you get this technique down, you can do this with any color. There's, I toy with blue and lilac and mauve and pinks and peaches and the popular mint green. Um, but I went with this one because I thought it was really pretty, but it's endless. And But once you get the technique down, you can do any color you want. But just remember, it's easier to do with the sparkle in it. So while you're practicing, maybe to get your blend, do it with the sparkle. And then when you get really good at it, try it with the pastels and the flat colors and really testing your skills and see if you can do it. It's a tough one, but as you can see, it can be done. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of these up and then um, I'm going to file them. That's when I'll get back to you. Okay, so I just finished these up and now I'm going to start filing. So if you're a customer and you're going to somebody to get this kind of look, just remember this is art. I did this the other day and they looked different. Even though it's the same technique, they look different on the client than they do here. It's like drawing a picture and making it look exactly the same every single time. So don't expect your nail tech to be able to recreate something like this if you just saw a picture, let's say, of my work or of any other artist that you're showing them. It, it is really hard to recreate the exact. Sometimes they might not even have the same color in stock, right? Okay, that is probably a little bit longer than the other one, so I'm just going to take the top off a bit. Tight. You will cut that out. I think is the term. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. <laughs> Depends on my mood. You're cutting that out. Can't keep a sneeze in there. Nobody wants to see a sneeze. Uh, I bet some do. <sighs> Nobody. If you like sneezes. Nobody wants to see put sneezes. Put it down in the YouTube comments. channel with sneezes? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should be wearing a mask, but I was going to talk. So what I do when I'm filing, I'm, I have a lot of videos where I'm doing the nails and I do do a lot of filing steps in it. So I didn't really want to make this about filing, but I'm glad I got that clear coat on top because that does hold the design in there that I've created without filing any of that off. And hopefully when I file this up, it still looks like a beautiful fade. I'm happy with the thumb. Can't say that I'm happy with a couple of these, but it'll still work. Sometimes you're really on your game and sometimes you're a little off and sometimes it's not working at all. I would say that these, these look good. I think they're going to file up good. Mm -hmm. Love that almond. Okay, so I'm going to shape it up with my file. If you ever look down the barrel of your nail and you'll see that if it doesn't come to a real nice dolphin point on your almond, if you look straight down there and you can see it thick, thick, take the file and place it. You're not doing so much the shaping, but you're placing it on the top side. If you just file the top side, you'll take away that thickness from the top and it can actually make a nail that looks really thick without changing the shape whatsoever, taking it to quite thin and very shapely. Oh, I should tell you, I tried this with black. Black is tough to work with, so I still have to perfect that because I was blending and cutting the black with a half color. And that's what I did with this peach too. I took the full strength of the peach color and I did about 50-50, I cut it with a natural and it just makes it so it's not so strong, so it's easier to make that fade. If you're really, really daring, you could try to take the peach or whatever color you're using full strength and try to blend it on its own. You can do that with glitters, but doing it with a full strength, like a pastel, color like these it's much 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 harder so taking that product and cutting it 50 50 with natural or even clear it really helps you blend it much much easier oh that's really nice can't wait to top coat that okay let me just finish up the other ones so I've shaped them all up and I've just gotten rid of all the dust and I'm just going to top coat them 
with a UV top coat and then we're going to cure it. going to put a little cuticle oil on all the fingers and get them ready for the reveal shots. Let's take a look. Well that was fun. It's hard to do but just give yourself some time and you'll get it. Just practice makes perfect. Now I'm going to bling up one of these but that's going to be another video. Talk to you soon.